Welcome back to the three months of modal logic, the sequel to the 100 days of logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic logic and justification logic, looking at the justification relation. A quick note, we're not going to be explaining what justification is in this series. We're going to be explaining how it can be represented logically. With that out of the way, let's get started. So we're going to use J t in those square brackets p to represent t is justification for p where t is a justification and p is a proposition as noted before we're not going to explain what it means for something to justify something else so we're not going to explain the necessary and sufficient conditions for some p justifying for some t justifying some p but rather we're going to offer a series of axioms that you may or may not agree with depending on your beliefs about what justification means and you can choose from those axioms how you want to create your own system of justification or how you want to map those axioms onto an already possessed system of justification. Sometimes justification is going to be represented as T colon P with T in square brackets or T J P with or without the brackets. Therefore, if I say that seeing a blue book is justification for the statement a blue book exists, I could represent this as J seeing a blue book, a blue book exists. Basically, the first thing is justification for the second. Up next, we're going to start on some justification operations. These are going to be new logical operations that we use with justification that are going to look somewhat similar to some of our old logical operations, but have a few little tweaks in there. The one we'll look at next is called application. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.